Meet Dave Kirpin. Dave is a serial entrepreneur, a frequent media contributor, celebrity interviewer, and global keynote speaker. Dave is one of LinkedIn's influencers, and his post, The 11 Simple Concepts to Become a Better Leader, is our top leadership post. Dave is also a New York Times best-selling author of four books. He's captivated audiences around the globe on topics such as getting what you want using better people skills, social media and business, and authentic leadership. It's actually really counterintuitive, but getting what you want is all about listening and expressing empathy for the other person. Mm -hmm. So in, in the customer in service example, example yeah. these guys are yelled at all day long, yeah. constantly. Yeah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if you get on and you actually say, you know what, I know what your job is like. It must be so tough mm -hmm. getting yelled at and badgered by people like me all day long. You must be just so, so frustrated. They're going to be like, yeah, yeah, yeah I am. Yeah. Now, I'm not here to tell you if you wear orange shoes, you're going to get hundreds of thousands of dollars in investment. But I do happen to have 36 pairs of orange shoes. These are just 18 of them. And every single day I wear orange shoes. And my point to you guys is figure out what unique brand you can build consistently. Maybe it's a certain color tie or a purse or glasses or a ribbon in your hair or shoes or a certain color that you wear, earrings, necklace, handkerchief. Pretty much everywhere I go, people stop me in the airports, on the trains, just to have a conversation with me about my orange shoes. What's your unique personal brand? How can you provide value for Barbara Corcoran or Mark Cuban or, uh, or, or these people? And I remember I spoke to a group of uh, college students recently and I said to them, everyone in this audience can absolutely provide significant value for every single Fortune 500 CEO. All you need to do is send a LinkedIn message and say, I would love to do a free 15 minute demo of exactly how to use Snapchat. <laughs> and they were all like, these people don't know how to use Snapchat? I was like, no, none of us old people know <laughs> how to use Snapchat at all. But it's true. And Maybe you don't know how to use Snapchat, and maybe this example won't work for you, but there is something that you know how to do. Absolutely can add value to any person's life that you want to meet. And if you are really thinking, how can I add value, and how can I make it easy through a mutual connection to someone, you can meet just about anyone on the planet. Content is currency. How important is social media to a small business and how do you get started? Social media is essential these days to small businesses because their customers and their prospects are all there. Pretty much every consumer at this point is using Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn and small businesses have to join that conversation. So of course I did what any social media nerd would do. Took out my smartphone and I tweeted. Waiting online over 45 minutes at the Aria. Not worth it, hashtag fail. Well, the Aria didn't respond to my tweet. In fact, the Aria has never responded to my tweet five years later. But guess what? The Rio down the street responded to my tweet within two minutes. Now, when I tell this story to senior executives all over the world, they get super excited. They think this is the ROI moment. What did the Rio tweet back? Come on over, Dave. We have a room with your name on it, or something like that. And a few of you are probably thinking that as well. The Rio didn't tweet that. If they had tweeted something like that, I would have thought two things. First, it's kind of creepy that they're stalking me this aggressively. And second, why is it jam-packed and happening at the Aria when it's wide open at the Rio? What's up with that? Instead, what the Rio tweeted back was the following. Sorry you're having a bad experience, Dave. Hope the rest of your time in Vegas goes well. Sorry you're having a bad experience, Dave. Hope the rest of your time in Vegas goes well. Well, guess where I stayed the next time I went to Vegas, and the time after that, and the time after that. Ask any small business how they've grown their business, they're going to say word of mouth and referrals. And what LinkedIn and social media in general does is- Facebook and Twitter. Facebook, and Twitter, companies. it makes it yeah. much, much easier to do word of mouth at scale and to generate referrals without having to pick up the phone as much. 
Now, a lot of folks, when they get active in social media, they want to use social media to grow their business. They think about getting on Twitter, getting on Facebook, getting on LinkedIn, and talking and selling. And that's the absolute opposite of what the successful company does in social media. But for years, we were good at the talking part, but we didn't spend a lot of time and energy on the listening part because we couldn't. Social media allows each and every one of us to listen at scale to our customers, to our prospects, to our competitors, to, uh, to vendors, to other folks in the industry, to our employees. And then once you listen to that data, you can actually start to do something. Then you can start talking. Storytelling is the most powerful way to put ideas into the world today. And you know what? I would argue that storytelling has always been the most powerful way to put ideas into the world. But there's a big difference because now, for the first time ever, thanks to social media, we can all tell our story much faster, much cheaper, and to many, many more people. The thing that's so amazing about social media storytelling is you can, you can tell a story with a, an iPhone video that you shoot in 30 seconds, post it to Instagram or Facebook or Vine, and if it doesn't resonate, tell another story tomorrow. Tell another story two hours later. There's almost no barrier to entry to social storytelling. So you can continue to craft your story day in and day out. How many of you guys like to be sold to? You love to be sold to, you love salespeople. How many of you guys like a good story? We all love stories and very, very few of us like to be sold to. Let's talk after I have something to sell you. The CEO is the functional spokesperson of the organization internally and externally. And that person has to be somebody that can tell a story. Here's a LinkedIn blog post from a few years ago. I should tell you at the time we were working with GE, Verizon, Johnson & Johnson, some really big names. So when I posted this, a couple of people at my company thought this was a little crazy. I wrote, the birth of our company may have been a dream, but there were days, weeks, and even months early on that felt more like a nightmare. We couldn't get a loan from a bank. We couldn't hire the right people. We couldn't manage our cash flow very well. We nearly missed payroll several times. We brought arguments from home to work, and we brought arguments from work to home. And I have to tell you, there were some people nervous that this would lose business. Not only did we not lose any business, but we got more business as a result of this blog post. The reality is that authenticity and vulnerability breed trust, and trust breeds business. I really firmly believe that gratitude is the best drug on the planet, because there's no side effects. And it puts you in an amazing state to be a great leader, to be a persuasive leader, to get what you want from people, because can take that the positive energy that you put out there when you're feeling gratitude is totally, totally contagious. I interviewed a couple hundred CEOs and world leaders for my second book, Likeable Business, and I realized one of the running threads was gratitude. Sheldon Yellen, the CEO of a company called Belfour, writes thank you notes to his employees every day on their birthday. Now that's interesting, but it's even more interesting when I tell you that Belfour has 8,000 employees. So he writes an average of 17 cards every single day. More important and exciting than saying I'm sorry is saying thank you. Because people that have nice things to say, these are your ambassadors of Quan, to quote Jerry Maguire. These are the people that are willing to go out of their way to talk about you. And these are the people that we want to absolutely respond to each and every one of them and say thank you. And say thank you because thank you does go a long way. Inquire now about booking Dave Kirpin for your next event.